Recording. Alrighty, it's a session recap for the 11th day of uh, October. And this morning we were watching uh, the dollar index and as it attempted multiple times to break through here, but it has not broken yet. So we still have a flag pattern in play, but the flag is indicative of the continuation to the downside, all right? We have a uh, downtrend, or actually a down channel right here, all right? We're making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, okay, see? So th that's where we're trying to go, and MACD says, and by the way, we're trying to do that also. So we're looking for dollar down, all right? Now, that means the correlated currencies will go up, euro dollar, should try to go up. Well, surprise, surprise, it's trying to go up. We don't have 55 pips left. That's all we got. The target is at 106, 106.55 up there. And let me pull the ATR up here. And Euro dollar has an ATR, uh, oh, right there it is. Uh, Euro dollar, 73 pips, all right? All right, over to pound dollar. Pound dollar should be trying to go up. It is, with dollar going down. Our target is up here at 23.62. Too late in the day to trade it. We did get back down here to 55 pips, but we can't trade it now because it's not gonna move until London tonight. That's 12 hours from now or more, all right? So you don't trade it. Target right now is 23.61, but after five o'clock, you're gonna get a new ATR, all right? And that new ATR, hold on, let me make sure this stays up. There we go. All right, pound dollar ATR is 91 pips. Dollar Swissy. Dollar Swissy, as you can see, it's mirroring the dollar. They tried to break out, we're not successful. They're back up here. Our target is down here at 8981, holding for 8969, right down there. Dollar Swissy has a 74 pip ATR. Dollar yen, all right? Dollar yen is a little wishy-washy this morning. And so we stayed out of it, all right? It's going up, but dollar is going down. So our thought process is the only reason it's going up is to find sellers. Where might they find sellers? Right there is where they may find sellers for the downside move. MACD tells you you're a seller. However, MACD also says, by the way, we have divergence, all right? Uh, we had divergence here. We now have convergence to the upside here. So we could break up there, right? And we have FOMC today at two o'clock, that's right. So everybody's waiting for that. We'll see what happens after that, all right? So wait for, wait, this is wishy-washy. Don't, don't, don't be in a hurry. They've got a 95 pip ATR over to Aussie dollar. We tried to trade this all morning and would have traded it had it broke this line to the upside. It still hasn't done that. They're currently still in a flag pattern to the downside. Why? Well, dollar's not moving, so they're not moving. All right, we're watching for a bounce and we're our, right now our target is at 64.69, right? And Aussie dollar has a 68 pip ATR. Wait for five o'clock, you'll get a new ATR and uh, <clears throat> then find that it's around 68 pips. And if dollar's going down, look for 68 up. It's not rocket science, euro yen. All right, we talked about this this morning. Yes, that's the target, but they're gonna slam into the channel before they ever hit that target. So what are they doing? They're exiting their trades right now. That's why you have a close in reverse. What does a close mean? Close the buy and go into a sell. It's still green. There's still buyers trying to buy it to the target, but the candle is going down, which means the bears are overwhelming the bulls, all right? So your yen ATR is 119 pips. Pound yen, all right? Pound yen, almost a target right now. Right there it is at uh, 184.08. Let me take it to a 60, easier to see. There it is right there, <clears throat> all right? Watch for them pull back and go again. After five o'clock, you're gonna get a new ATR. Pound yen has an ATR of 146 pips. Wait for that, all right? But you do have 55 pips or more now. If this makes a turn, you can, uh, it's late in the day to do it. Uh, but there, there is 55 pips as a target, target, but so time of day is not with you. All the participants have already left the building. They're at the pub right now drinking a Guinness. All right, we're stuck inside this uh, triangle here, looking for this breakout up above here. New Zealand dollar has a 62 pip ATR. That target is at 0.6070. After five o'clock, you'll get a new ATR. It might be slightly higher. 
over to Ozzy Yen. All right, Ozzy Yen. Uh, we we could trade this if we got. Unfortunately, it didn't get into play. All right, because uh, this is trade one right here. This is trade one, and this is trade two right there. All right, so we never got into that area. All right, but it's very dangerous because this is the range top right here. So trade one only makes it to the range top. Trade two is up here. All right, so it can be traded, but you better uh, you need a little skill so that you have confidence to know what to do if it doesn't work. All right, target is up here at 96.43, and Aussie Yen has a 98 pip ATR. You can't trade Euro Pound. No, ATRs are too low on it. Uh, Euro uh, Aussie, however, we're two thirds of the way to target. Our target is 65.85. We missed this pullback here. The only reason we didn't take this trade is because traders didn't take it. We talked about a break, hook, and go, and then when it did it, nobody had taken the trade, so we couldn't count it. Otherwise, we'd be up 40 pips right now, looking with trade two already in. Target is 69.85 up there, and uh, Euro Aussie has an ATR of 127 pips. All right, All right over to Pound Aussie. All right. Pound Aussie headed up. There we go. And uh, almost the target right now is at 92.32. And Pound Aussie has an ATR of 142 pips. All right. So if dollar keeps going down, you see dollar's trying to go down, it's trying to go up. It's most likely coming up to the range top tonight. Got a big ATR so he can get there. All right. You're in New Zealand. All right. Almost the target right now, which is right there at uh, 76.66. And uh, Euro New Zealand has an ATR of 138 pips. Pound New Zealand, to the pip to its ATR, they've already sold off. See the close in reverse? What does that mean? They closed the buy and went into the sell. See that? All right. <clears throat> so that's what happens. To the pip to its ATR, Pound New Zealand has an ATR of 151 pips. New Zealand yen, all right? New Zealand yen, uh, we're waiting. Uh, let's see where we're going here. I'm going up, not down. I don't know why. I, oh, yeah. All right. New Zealand yen, we're going up 90.42, holding for 90.49 up there at the 1,000 fib. Uh, and uh, New Zealand yen has an ATR of 93 pips. Nice little currency. That's a really nice little trade right here, folks. If we get it, remember Sydney is next, so you may get this trade. You can see the trade right there. You can see that trade one, that trade, trade one is here to the 90, and trade two is a break of the 90 right there. That's a beauty. If you get that, don't miss it. That's nice. If, that's a big if. All right. So, all right. Over to Aussie Swissy. I can't trade Aussie Swissy. Two uh, ATRs too low. Same with Aussie New Zealand. All right, up to uh, Pound Swissy and Pound Swissy. We have it up, but as soon as it breaks here, it's going to slant. It doesn't have any room up here. Wait for five o'clock. You'll get a new ATR. It's only 58 pips, so you only got three pips to play with in there. It's really hard to trade it. It can be done if you get it exactly at the right spot. All right. All right. There we go. 